Alright guys, welcome back again to more Umi Neko. Let me tell you all right now that this episode is getting more and more exciting by the minute and it's getting even crazier. So, without further ado guys, I'll let you all see for yourself. So if anything else, hope you all continue to enjoy. Thank you again for all the love and support. And here we go. Alright everyone, welcome back. でも、なぜ当てない私が女だからとでも言うのか君は王者の力として三つ目に暴力と言ったね君はどうやらまだその暴力の意味を誤解しているようだこの場合の暴力とはね短絡的に振るわれる乱暴のことを言うんじゃない
Jessica would have one too and be able to activate it. And now here we are. Okay, now, now we're on an even playing field and I get it now. Let's go. But it seemed that George couldn't see it. However, Gop being a demon could. From a demon's perspective, that might have been magic. But in George's eyes, it was determination. It was absolute determination that would show no mercy to anyone who wished for further fighting and force him to prepare for a significant counterattack. Absolute determination becomes magic. Ronov had been accurately blocking Jessica's fists with the shield, but something felt odd. Even though he was certainly stopping the blows with the shield, he felt his arm beginning to strain and ache. All physical damage should have been shut off. However, the damage from her fists was gradually being transmitted to his arm and was accumulating. Ronov acted like he was composed so that this wouldn't be noticed. <laughs> どうしたよ、さん。ちょっとは答えてきたかよ。I, o I always assumed that her her plan of attack was to just keep wailing on that shield until it started to crack. She that seemed like more her personality than anything, and I was right. <laughs> Those words were probably aimed at Kanon. Kanon had technically rejected Jessica's words. But Jessica knew that no matter how obstinate his heart was, those words would eventually soak through. And she believed that surely the day would come when he would understand her heart and stop calling himself furniture and disparaging himself. And step out into his new life. So Jessica wouldn't give up. She wouldn't lose heart. At that time, Ronov certainly saw. He saw the red hot burning glow of light surround Jessica's fists. Within her relentless fists and determination dwelled the power to succeed no matter what. From a demon's perspective, that was magic. You know, I just realized that the fact that they can do all this showcases that Kinzo should accept that all three of them are worthy of the, of the name. Of the what you call the inheritance because <laughs> they have magic or at least what they believe what they believe and what they can uh, prove to be magic absolute determination becomes a magic nah. <laughs> もう少し本気を出さざるを得ないようですね。おっしゃる通りのようです。このように無駄なことなどない。そうさ。無駄なんて諦めたらそこで人生が終わっちまうぜ。通じるんだよ。絶対に。I'm an idiot, so this is the only way I can live. But even so, I believe that one day, I'll definitely be able to teach Kanonkun about a new world. So I'm not gonna buckle up in a place like this. 
I'll definitely defeat you and save everyone. Kraus was repeating his useless effort and trying to somehow open a hole between the metal bars. Useless. There's nothing useless. There's nothing. The lookout goats had been swallowed up by those black pits and disappeared. Now was their do or die chance. This was their only chance to break the bars. Are you trying to tell me that they also have the ability to activate some semblance of magic as well? Because I hope so. どう旦那様。下がってください。あ、ファイナリー。何何をする気だ。いいよね。姉さん。もう一度だけ。あがいても。うん。私ももう一度だけあがくよ。Okay, I'm not gonna lie, and I and I was thinking this in my head, and I'm hoping it comes true. I want Shannon and George to double team Gop. Like I had this I had this image in my head of them pulling off some incredible martial arts right now, and I want to see that, and I'm hoping that's the case. <laughs> Jessica's voice had reached Kanon. It had certainly permeated into this into his stone cold heart. And George's voice had reached Shannon. If the love he had shown was embodied by strength, she would have to respond in the same way. An incredible metallic sound rang out. The first flash cut horizontally through several of the metal bars, and with the next flash, they were cut through horizontally again, causing them to clatter to the ground like bamboo shoots cut by a sword. Kraus, Kirie, Nanjo didn't even have a clue about what had just happened. なんじょ先生。お屋敷へ歩こうどっちに。お。左奥だ。左奥。参りましょう。旦那様方。すぐに悪切り屋様に気づかれます。あんたたちは一体何なの僕たちは。わ、カノンヘッドハンギスヘッ
彼に鉄格子が切断できてここから脱出できることだけだ気にするなカノンやれお任せよ Kanon sliced the metal bars again with a red trail, but there was a harsh, strange noise, and only a slight scratch was left in the metal bars. After taking a deep breath and focusing his concentration, Kanon once again extended his sword that trailed red. When he pressed it hard against the metal bars, sparks sprayed almost as though he was burning through them with a blowtorch. データ受領。<laughs> a golden arrow that sparkled gold was fired, leaving a gold trail streaming behind. It drew a curve, went through the door, through the keyhole, down the stairs, towards the underground path at full speed. ゲートキーパー了解。姉さんと一緒に戦うのは久しぶりだ。どちらないでよ。うん。本気でやる。なら問題ない。Canon stopped cutting the bars and stood in front of Shannon. Behind him, Shannon closed her eyes, concentrating her mind, focusing deep, deep into the darkness of the underground path. A guided cluster round is a special kind of arrow made up of 48 sub-rounds bound together. It explodes mid-flight and divides into 48 mini-arrows. The strength of each individual one is low, but they pierce through all shields and possess total lethality against ground troops. And on top of that, each one of the 48 possesses autonomous guidance towards their individual targets. カノン、データ受領。姉さんの能力はすごいな。48発全部見える。迎撃優先順位に注意。姉さんを信じて。もちろんだ。僕は目を開ける必要さえない。迎撃開始。シャノンとカノンはもともと一組の家具ですからね。揃うと手強いこと。あいたたた。これ、こないになっちゃうかしら。落ち着け。再装填。断種を変更。精密攻撃戦準備。そりゃいいね。追撃不能の超高速弾。
一つわかるのは二人に頼らなきゃ死んでたってことねカノン君ありがとう鉄格子に戻って多分次のは迎撃できない弾が来るそんな攻撃をどう防ぐんだ撃たせませんカノン君冷視戦防備 At those words, Kanon closed his eyes tightly and clenched his teeth. With Shannon at the center, a pressure and impact blasted out that could only be perceived by those not human. What am I looking at? What is she doing? What? Shakiki system error! d a s i k i d o Did she hack their system? An unseen, unheard impact blasted towards the Shiesta sisters. The below and 410 crouched down, covering their ears, but 45 didn't make it in time. Still standing both upright, her eyes rolled inside her head. リンクでもろに来た。再起動しないと。Raising their spirit particle sensitivity for precision sniping had backfired. They had taken the full brunt of the spirit particle shockwave Shannon had released. And not only 45 who had been hit directly, but also Double O and 410 who had been linked with her were taken down. All the Shiesta sisters collapsed. They would probably get back up eventually, but it looked like it would be hard for them to return to the battle lines for a while. Virgilia tore the air with a large motion as though opening a door. A gold colored door opened in the air, and countless giant goats with muscular bodies peeked their faces out. さあさあ急ぎなさい脱走者は5人いるから、ご当賞までの早い者勝ち。素敵なご褒美がありますよ。さあさあ、頑張って、頑張って。Virgilia clapped her hands, urging them on. A prize? After glancing at each other at those words, the goats rushed to the door at once, trying to get out. Making the exit as tight as, making the exit as tight as squeeze as the trains during the commuter rush. Each wanted to get out first, so none of them could get out. Virgilia held her head in frustration. By that time, Kanon had managed to cut through enough bars to make a gap that could be slipped through. It proved a bit of work for Kraus, large as he was, and Nanjo, whose voice was nearly his downfall, but even so, they all managed to make it through. But their relief at getting through was short lived. Immediately, another set of metal bars blocked the way in front of them. <laughs> よっぽどここの人を逃がしたくなかったんでしょうねカノンすまんがもう一度頼むスライダローが頼む There was sweat on Kanon's forehead You could tell at a glance that cutting the metal bars which had been made even more solid by magic was exhausting and considerably はいお任せを旦那様お前にしかできんどうか頼む Only he could do it Holding tightly onto those words, k 
Kanon concentrated his mind again and once more set himself to the task of cutting the bars. Shannon held her hand out towards the bars they had come through. But she stopped right away. シエスタ姉妹の最近動画の意味し あの ここからやすきまでどのくらいあるんです。かなり歩く。道は平坦だが、30分は歩いた記憶が。全力疾走ならその半分ってことだわ。で、君とフォーシュースでディンハブ問題ない。無茶苦茶な計算ですが。ですが、カジマの計算式はそういうものです。申し訳ございません。旦那様方。あと頼みます。任せたまえ。カノンは1秒でも早く鉄合手を。シャノンは悪切りやとかいう魔女
When we come back, we'll be continuing on with this story and see what happens. If anything, I'm of the belief that even though I'm enjoying this, I feel like this is all Beatrice is just telling Battler uh, a fairy tale. Like episode 5 in itself is just Beatrice's little uh, storybook she's just handing out to us just to make us feel a little bit better. I don't know, but I guess we'll find out in the next one. So thank you all for watching. <laughs>